We're kicking things off with Black Panther Wakanda Forever and the record-breaking $300 million box office domination, topping off the latest in the entertainment remix. One step at a time. <laughs> One day at a time, honestly, truly. I think, especially when it's it's been, or this has become this journey, this career, is proving to be like something that I've dreamt about and prayed about and thought about like incessantly for so long. Newcomer Dominique Thorne is about to become an even bigger star after Wakanda Forever delivered a mind-blowing box office weekend. Superhero role was introduced in the sequel. Now the 25-year-old New Yorker will star in her very own Marvel series. What is next? Up next is Ironheart in 2023, coming to Disney Plus. I think it'll be a, a ride of a lifetime. And I hope that people, seems like folks have already enjoyed and are sort of responding positively to what they've seen in Black Panther. So hopefully that's encouragement enough to come over to Disney Plus. <laughs> Beyonce's Renaissance leads the Grammy nominations with nine. Kendrick Lamar, Mary J. Blige, DJ Khaled, Future, and The Dream round out the list of top nominees. B, Mary J, Lizzo, and Kendrick Lamar face off for Album of the Year. That same group, including Doja Cat, is also up for Record of the Year. God did, is hey, expected. God did, Revolt did, yeah. Pup did. Yeah. Oh, you think it's a game, huh? God did out right now. The love is felt. I know you got questions, but I gotta, I gotta do my intro. They ain't believe in us. Khaled called it. Joining future Jack Harlow, Kendrick Lamar, and Pusha T up for best rap album. And then there's the first timers. Money Long joining Lotto and Glorilla. Lotto tweeting, I'm crying so bad right now. And Glorilla's tweet kept it simple, but God. The Grammys will air February 5th on CBS. Diddy wowed the crowd at the 2022 Baby to Baby Gala that included Kerry Washington and Kelly Rowland. Tyler Perry saluted Kim Kardashian, who was honored for her commitment to children in need. I want the world to know how incredible you are doing that, using your voice for social injustice, to make it, to help people be free, talking to presidents, doing whatever you have to. When you have that kind of celebrity and that kind of status and that kind of following and you use it to help, lift, and encourage, that's a blessing. Everywhere we go, the spirits seem to be one step ahead of us, just out of reach. Who are we gonna call? Well, obviously the Ghost Brothers, who are still scaring audiences every Friday on Discovery+. Plus. The Spirit Hunters chase paranormal activity all across the country, but there's one rumored haunted mansion they'd still love to creep into. We really try to do the White House, yeah, we've heard stories. We've heard stories. I just think it's up to us to investigate it. Right? But we got turned down politely a few times. <laughs> From the people that made the White House, that built it, to uh, all the wild stories that happened, all the energies that have been over there for the past couple hundred years. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. There's staff, there's staff that have had like paranormal experiences. Like sometimes they, they'll hear footsteps or like uh, they just say like the house is, is, is kind of like, got a, a spirit of its own. Uh, I mean, it's super important to just continue to keep pushing this, you know what I mean? That, um, um, like I said, that's what, this is what Atlanta's about. Um, young black entrepreneurs making their way, doing what they gotta do. Jermaine Dupri among the special guests at the grand opening of Atlanta's Sea Salt Lounge. It's the second location for the popular soul food restaurant. Co-owner Juan Farmer hopes their Sea Salt initiative inspires more young black entrepreneurs. You don't really have to say a drug. There's different things that you can do besides, you know, balling, you know, being a rapper. You can be a restauranteur. And when these brothers and sisters were starting this amazing genre of music, uh, no one wanted it. And it was even criminalized. And, but they pushed ahead. The brains behind hip hop were honored by New York City Mayor Eric Adams as the genre celebrates its 50th anniversary. The city is planning multiple events next year to salute the hip hop movement.